What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecole Espresso and welcome back to today's video. Now today, what we're going to be doing is continuing our talks from yesterday and for those of you guys that weren't here for it, we're talking about the six things that we want to see in Advanced Warfare. So today we're going to be talking about a few things we don't want to see in Advanced Warfare. Again, I'm speaking to and for the masses almost, so if you have different ideas, that's totally cool too. Without further ado though, let's get right into it. Number one, camper friendly equipment, IEDs, thermal and silencers, IMSs, etc. All promoting camping, while some can argue that it's just the players, I see it as why even enable them to do that. While Ghost did have some cool ideas, they catered to a much larger fan base, the people who are less skilled at the game. This in turn allowed them to beat out veteran players who knew how the game works and realistically should not be cheated out of anything in a gunfight. It's a fine line to walk, but it's something that needs to be addressed. Number two, lag compensation. We all know the way servers work is for players to be evenly dispersed on a connection. This in turn allows players with a worse connection and ping to be at an advantage by bringing down players with good internet as the servers try to level out the connections. It's something that has been said has been erased from previous titles but never really was. Dedicated servers can help get rid of this as it's a neutral connection that players will be placed on based on their location and ping to that server. Number three, overpowered streaks, especially in the support package, assuming there is one. It took months to nerf Ghost squad mate streak. It was always locked on and ready to kill you in two shots with a pistol, but was finally nerfed down. Others include the dog, whose kill radius was absolutely unbearably high and always was one hit unless you were a jug or a maniac. Even with a ballistic vest, you had no chance. Oftentimes, you'd get ranged by the dog. For the most part, though, Ghost did a decent job with the kill streaks, but there were evident problems in other games. Streaks should be powerful, but not too powerful. Number four, going away from Call of Duty. This is one of the general public has outcried for a while after this whole advanced warfare announcement thing. I'm open to this change in the series, but some others are a little more skeptical. Don't prove them right. Keep the game true to the nature of Call of Duty, even by being revolutionary to the series. It's a fine line to walk, but I believe we won't be seeing this as Halo of Duty Titanfall Warfare. Regardless, we didn't think Ghosts would be bad either, but look where that ended up at. There's always time to turn around for the worse. Number five, disregard for players after launch. Sledgehammer has done a great job so far at keeping their fans in mind, letting them know that they care, keeping their thoughts and concerns in mind, as well as doing their own thing, bringing it up to speed to be what everyone wants to see. We've previously had studios care for fans, then just give up. Don't do that. Not naming any names, but one of the other two studios in the franchise is beyond stubborn and takes months to answer just to what their fans want. You have a good reputation for your community outreach, so keep it that way. And finally, number six, don't let this game jump off of a cliff. We've all seen games that looked amazing in trailers and the hype periods, similar to Titanfall as well as Watch Dogs to me. Both seemed great, but underperformed in my opinion, while I love the hype that the games garnered before launch. Don't do the same thing and be that way. Keep the hype going all the way through. Personally, I couldn't name you the last call that did that perfectly, but there is a target on Sledgehammer's back to make this game great, and I have my faith in them, but it's really up to them. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. What don't you want to see in Advanced Warfare? Let me know what you guys think down there. But that's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, please leave a like right down below. Any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you OG like that, or is greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. The best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. Any new news information, you guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Vinny Cola Espresso. As always, if you guys are having a great day, I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Right, <laughs>